Hey everybody, happy Move Monday. Uh, this is Tim Hatch and I am in Guatemala right now and I'm actually on location at Hope of Life right outside of Zacapa, Guatemala. And I want to talk to you on this Monday about something that I enjoy doing when I come down here to Zacapa, Guatemala. I, I love to embrace a certain challenge and it's right behind me now. It's this seemingly infinite staircase. And so what I do when I come down here is I try to go up these stairs as fast as possible. And I'm going to do that right now on this Monday, this Move Monday video. This is totally spontaneous, but there's a couple of principles about moving that I want to share with you as I do it. I'm not going to run because I want to be able to talk to you as we do this, but it's enormously high and it seems like it goes on forever and challenges you. But yet, here's the theme for this video embrace challenges. If you want to move, you are going to have to face hard things. And I like to do the staircase because this staircase is hard. I don't have to do it, but it reminds me that hard things don't have to be horrible things. They, they have to sometimes be embraced. And I force myself to do the staircase because I want to be a person that says yes to challenges. I want to be a person who says yes to what seems impossible or difficult. If I can do that with something as simple as a staircase in the middle of Guatemala in a hundred degree heat, <laughs> then I can do that in the other things that really matter in life. Parenting my kids, building the church, challenging those who try to stop the kingdom and the purposes of Jesus, uh, lifting up the broken and empowering the weak. And so I hope I inspire you. Let's get started. We're going to just start taking step at a time. First rule of taking that challenge on, start. Just start walking. And so we are walking up these steps and here we go. And we are at level one. Still a long way to go. <laughs> you got to keep going. And just remember in the middle of hard challenges, it will be easy in the first, in the beginning. It'll be... <laughs> It'll be easy when you first get started. Take it one step at a time. That's number two. So start step at a time. Number two, expect to lose your breath. Uh, expect to feel weak. Expect that your body will want to quit. My body's not there yet, but it's getting there. And uh, these stairs are all uneven. They are not seven inch steps like in code, building codes in America. <laughs> and so some of them are like 12 inches tall, some like 10. And you just got to keep going. You just got to keep going. When you don't want to go, keep going. That's number four, three. <laughs> How about this? When you forget what number you want, that doesn't matter. You just got to keep going. And then here's another thing. Maybe you need a break. Maybe you're just so overwhelmed and so tired. Okay. Take a break. It's biblical. It's called the Sabbath. It's okay. You got to keep moving long term. So take short term breaks. Six days we work, one day we rest. That's okay. When you're done resting, get back to moving. Okay. <laughs> don't look, don't look at the top. I do this. I look at the stair in front of me. Whew. Yeah, this is for real. This is totally impromptu. I just decided to do it. We're almost done. I looked at the top. Don't do that. Just keep fighting. Get yourself going. It's hard. You're going to hurt. It's going to feel painful, but there's an end coming. There's an end coming. I'm telling you something. You're going to get there. Whew. You're going to get there. It might not feel like that. It might not feel like that, but you will. Look, look at how far we've come. Look at how far. And we're almost there. Here we go. Look at this. What does Paul say? I have fought the good fight. I finished the race. I have kept the faith. 
Finally, the crown of righteousness is reserved for me. 2 Timothy 4, 7, 8. Last few steps, and we are there, and we did it. Ah, and there's nothing better than feeling like you did it. There's nothing better than finishing the challenge. There's nothing better than knowing you can do this. Get started. Expect it to be tough. Look at the view that God gives you when you've done it. Look at the view. You're gonna see things better. You're gonna see something glorious in your future, but you can't give up. You gotta fight the fight. You gotta keep the faith. You'll finish the race. Just letting you know, the way down is so much easier. <laughs> okay, here's another principle. Giving up is easy, but you miss out on the view. Giving up is natural. You know why it's easier to go downstairs than upstairs? Because of the natural force of gravity in this world. And Christians are not natural. They are supernatural. They are empowered to go up, not down. They are empowered to climb, not to descend. We got a, we got a Savior in Jesus who descended for us. He descended for us so that we could ascend in Him. And I'm telling you, you might be going down. You might be headed down. You can turn around right now and start going back up again. You can start going back up again and you get crazy. <laughs> All right, I'm not finishing this again. <laughs> God bless, bye-bye, happy Monday.